Hey, Chris here. Welcome back to the channel. So no, the title of this video is not clickbait. It will say something along the lines of free bets are getting banned or free bets could be banned, something like that. But no, it's not clickbait. This might actually be happening. Basically, there's been articles posted this week, which we're going to take a look at on the laptop in a second, talking about the proposals by the government to essentially ban free bets that bookmakers give out. And we as match bettors take advantage of those to make the profits that we do from match betting by betting on all the odds, using the free bets and, and making that guaranteed profit. But we're just going to look at those articles and I'm going to discuss at the end of the video my sort of thoughts on could this really happen? And if it does happen, what would your options be to continue making profit from match betting without any free bets at all? So here we are then on The Sun's website and it says bets are off, nannying ministers plot to ban punters from free bets under balmy new plans. So if we just scroll down then and sort of have a look and a gander at what could be happening here. So it says ministers want to end all promotions in the gambling white paper and force everyone who fancies a flutter to undergo affordability checks. It then goes on to say offers, free bets and free spins given away by bookies would all be made illegal. One Tory MP called the proposal utterly bonkers and it goes on to say that 69% of punters want free bets to continue, which I'm not really sure why that's not like 100%. Like, why wouldn't you want free bets to continue? But apparently that's what they found when they asked people. Now, further down on this article, it says almost one in three punters said they would consider black market betting if ministers forced through a ban. So I'm not 100% sure what that is. Uh, I'm guessing it's something to do with just underground betting because obviously underground betting you don't need to do affordability checks but obviously that's not going to be regulated at all so you could have people there you know I, I don't know how it works really but I'm guessing from movies that I've seen people placing bets that can't really afford to uh, pay off you know any um, losses and stuff like that and then people getting their legs broken by the mafia or something I don't know I'm guessing that's what it involves but obviously that's not going to be regulated regulated like how for example if you go on to the Labrooks website that's not going to get you in any trouble that's completely all above board and completely legal as long as you're 18 or over. Now it says here blanket bans on offers would severely degrade customer experience punishing the overwhelming majority of punters who bet safely and I think it's to share my opinion on that yeah I agree with that completely the majority of people that gamble are actually safe gamblers and apparently from the articles I've been reading it's just 0.2% of people so not even you know half a percent of people that gamble are problem gamblers so it's a bit unfair I think that they're bringing all these rules in and banning so much stuff to do with offers just to try and you know protect a few people it would literally be like as it says in one of the articles I've read it would be like all supermarkets being banned by you know from putting uh, promotions on uh, alcohol because of you know a few people that drink too much most people I don't know what percentage but I'm guessing it's a very high percentage of people actually drink completely responsibly. To throw in yet more of my opinion, I really do feel that we should be left alone with offers and free bet promotions to do with them as we please and people to be able to make their own mind up if they want to use them, if they don't want to, you know, if people want to gamble or they don't. Yeah, everyone should be able to just make your own mind up on that. Do comment below with your thoughts and share your opinion on what you think you know governments should be doing with free bets. Should they be meddling with them or should they just be left alone? And uh, obviously do drop a like on this video if you're enjoying it so far. The next article I wanted to go through with you here is from cityam.com's website and it says gambling reform free bets ban could push a third of Brits to the black market and just exactly what it was saying on the last article we looked at. And yeah, there's pretty much all the same kind of statistics here. 69% um, of customers saying free bets should be allowed. Uh, nothing too much different here. Uh, it's saying black market gambling has more than doubled in just two years from 220,000 users to 460,000 users. And, uh, and then finally, it's saying be uh, banning free bets is the latest proposal suggested by the anti-gambling lobby that could hit horse racing revenues after blanket affordability checks. 
Now in this article, it does say we'll have more information in the coming weeks. So I'm guessing that's either in July or August of this year. Uh, we'll, we'll know more basically. And I really feel like, just to conclude this video, if free bets were completely banned, I'm not sure if that would include uh, further promotions, uh, offers such as like the two up early payout offer that Bet365 give out, or for example, the extra place races that bookmakers give out on horse races. If they're not included, because technically they're not free bets, that would then not mean the end of match betting. You know, you would still be able to make really, really nice profits and actually way more money is made from those uh, two up and extra places strategies than free bets anyway. So for those of you that really, you know, want to make good money from match betting, you shouldn't be worried about a, a free bet ban anyway. And um, it will just massively hit people that are not sure about match betting and they want to get into it. If there's no free bets to do with welcome offers, they won't be able to make you know the 600 to 1,000 pounds from those to really get into it. You would have to start match betting and go straight into the advanced strategies, which you know that could potentially put a lot of people off because with those advanced strategies, you have to take some small losses to be able to hit the big wins. And maybe people would just see that as a, as a straight up gambling right from the beginning. As I say though, do let me know your thoughts down below. And until next time, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.